Hey, what's going on guys? Johnny with Hijack Security presenting you a video on dumping hashes and passing credentials. So what is credential dumping? Credential dumping is trying to is when you're trying to dump different types of hashes. Uh, could be Kerberos tickets, could, could be clear text passwords from the LSAS. So what is LSAS? LSAS is your local security authority subsystem. This service is super critical to any Windows system because it's what's, it's, it's what's going to hold your hashes, your tickets, your passwords. It handles all the credentials when it comes to the Windows system. Why are you trying to do credential dumping? Credential dumping could lead to privilege escalation. Say that you have, um, you have local admin on a machine and you dump credentials and there happens to be another admin on a different machine. You use this and you can go ahead and then use a patch to hash attack to go ahead and laterally move against the network perhaps and then just rinse and repeat it, rinse and repeating and then possibly gaining domain admin that way. Usually you need local admin to do it. Specifically, you need the SE debug privilege, which comes with local admin or domain admin. And different tools you can use for this is the Impacker Secrets Dump, Mimikatz, Proc Dump, Crap Map is up, Exact, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There are different kinds of tools that you can use when you're trying to go ahead and do this attack. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you a lab exercise uh, using LSASI and Crap Map Exec to go ahead and uh, dump credentials and go, trying to do pass the hash attacks. So this is going to go ahead and be the setup. We're going to have our Kali at 192.168.1.4. And we're in this example, we're going to go straight for the domain controller. You, in the real world, you're not going to have a domain admin right off the bat, right? But the concept stays the same. If you have a local admin on any Windows machine, you can go ahead and try to dump the hashes in the ways I'm about to show you, and it'll work the same. All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and make this bigger. All right, so first things first is that in this example, we have a local admin to a machine and we are going to try to dump it through LSASI using crap Mac, uh, the crap map exec module. So if you guys don't know what crap map exec is, it's a active directory tool that is a Swiss army knife. It's, it's a really big network penetration tool that's very scalable and has a lot of flexibility in different attacks that you can use to it. If you don't know what crap map exec is, I recommend that you uh, go watch in their YouTube video or some type of blog channel and try to familiar, uh, familiarize yourselves with this tool. So what does this command do? So here we have crap map exec saying we want to use the crap map exec tool. Then we're telling it to use the pro protocol SMB, and we are going to target our domain controller 192.168.1.152. We are telling it to use the username group, the password hacked123, and the dash capital M and using the module LSASI. All right, let's go ahead and press enter. We got some errors that came up. Go ahead and ignore those, and then boom. So I'll go ahead and do a quick run through of what this all means. So here it is, it's saying SMB, your target, your port. Uh, this is the host name of the domain controller. And you want to pay attention to this part that says pwn. With crap map exec, if you have local admin on a machine with credentials, it'll say pwned. And that's super important when you're dumping credentials because if you don't have local admin on the machine, you most likely will not be able to dump the credentials. So if you don't have pwned, you can't do this attack. So boom, so now we have two credentials. We have I am Groot, and then of course we have Groot, which is the 
account that we use to execute this attack. So what do we do now? So now we have two credentials, we can go ahead and try to pass these to one of the other machines. So remember in the last slide, we had the target one and we also had target two. Let's try to see if we could log in to one of those machines using the, the other hash, I am Groot. So we're gonna change it, I am Groot. And instead of a dash P, we're gonna do a capital H and we're going to copy and paste this hash. Fix that. So boom. So what are we saying here? Oh, I gotta change the username. My name group. So same thing. Crap map is at SMB, and we are actually going to target target one, which is 192.168.1.3, using the I am Groot, and this time, the key differentiator here is we are going to use the hash instead of the clear text password that we had last time. And just to make things fun, we're going to add on the dash LSA command. So this is a different way that you can dump uh, credentials using the tac -tac LSA switch, and we're going to see what happens here. That's not bueno. I wonder what happened there. Make sure it's active. Go ahead and try this again. Boom, there we go. We have the pwn here. And again, guys, this is the only reason this is working is because we have local admin on this machine. And then we have all sorts of different types of hashes. Uh, the difference between the TechTech -tech LSA and the LSASI way of dumping credentials is that LSA sometimes won't dump the same type of hashes and what do I mean by that? So you can see that Groot is also a user on this machine but it is a DCC2 hash. This hash you're going to have to crack as opposed to passing it and so you won't be able to do the same attack that we just used to gain access to this machine. And just to be sure, I'll go ahead and show you guys an example. So let's try to copy this hash. And we'll go ahead and try to use Groot. We use the user Groot. Use the hash. And it's not going to work because a DCC2 hash you cannot use to perform a pass the hash attack. You're going to have to use a tool such as John the Ripper or a hash cat to try to crack these hashes. And then here you go, you see some other hashes here. Um, this one's going to be good to, to note. So this, what you call here, is a NTLM hash. And the reason why you know that is because it has this AAD3 portion at the very beginning before the semicolon. The AAD3 portion is the LM portion of the NTLM hash, if I could highlight it correctly. This type of hash, you could also pass. So this is dumping the machine account, and you can also pass the NTLM hash. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll copy the NTLM hash and we're going to go ahead and pass that to target 2. We're going to use, we're going to say target 1. And the reason why I know this is a machine account is because it has this dollar sign right next to it. Um, the only accounts that are ever really going to have that or machine accounts. And we are going to 
insert the hash. And we're going to take this LSA portion off because this machine is not going to be local admin on the machine we're trying to pass it to. And just to show proof, I'll go ahead and show that. Got a bunch of errors that come up. That did not work. Got to make sure that the machine is up. Double check this. Double check that. Let's go ahead and try again. Boom. See, you are able to log in this machine using that target account hash and the machine account. Now, just to show you guys, you need local admin. The reason why it couldn't credential up here is because it was not local admin on this machine. But it what you could see the plus here, that means it was able to log in, which is good, good news. And that is pretty much it. If we're trying to patch the hash attack, let's go ahead and go into protections. So how do you guard against credential dumping? With credential dumping, uh, you can have some, you can enable something named LSA protection. LSA protection is pretty much going to protect the in-memory credential dumping of any attempts made. And you can enable that through the registry or if you are running Windows 11, H2, it automatically has LSA protection enabled. Uh, I The only reason these attacks worked is because in the lab I have set up, I have everything turned off, the antivirus, the firewall, and L LSA protection also turned off, which leads into network segmentation. If I wasn't able to reach these machines or if they were on an entirely different network, I would not be able to credential dump because I couldn't access the machine. Another way of trying to protect against credential dumping is account tiering. If you you want to come from the perspective of a of a least privilege approach. So if you don't need ad admins logging onto machines to do certain help desk actions and, and they just need regular accounts, go ahead and give them those regular accounts. The only reason this works as a privilege escalation is if a another admin is logged on to the same machine. And another way to protect against these type of attacks is using antivirus or EDR. I had to disable the Windows Defender on these local machines to go ahead and perform those LSASI attacks or using LSASI to perform the credential dumping attack. And again, antivirus slash EDR, that's always going to be a cat and mouse game. Attackers will always come with different ways to obfuscate or try to hide their payloads. And EDR is always trying is trying to have new detection methods to try to detect different tools such as Mimikatz, LSASI, Procta. Uh, actually, not Procta, um, but different tools that will try to do the same type of credential dumping attack and so yeah that is pretty much it i hope you guys were able to get something out of this if you did go ahead and like comment subscribe and share with your friends if you found something valuable and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video